Hi guys, this is Craig. Um, just having a go at making a DIY phosphate reactor or a media reactor, if you will. I've seen a few videos online and a few um, guides on how to do it, so I'm just going to have a go myself and document my progress, really. Um, I purchased a couple of these today. The lock and lock um, twist container, this is. I think it was a couple of pound Morrison's. Um, nice, sturdy plastic, good sealable lid. Um, it's even got its own rubber seal within it. Um, so the plan is really is to drill two decent sized holes in the top uh, for my tank connectors or bulkheads. Uh, one in the middle with the pipe running pretty much straight down the middle. Um, I'll then have some foam in here, some sponge, the media on top, and then another bit of sponge at the top. And my last tank connector there coming out the side for the uh, return. So far I've uh, I've just started, I've done one of my holes, one to my second one. So that's where I'm at the minute. Um, yeah, just keep watching. Okay guys, after a bit of drilling and uh, stand the knife and a few other little tools, finally got my holes. Um, there's, there it is, I don't know if you can see, there's a slight ridge on this lid which uh, is going to prove a bit of a pain, if I'm honest. Um, I've skimmed it off as best I can, but I mean these fixtures and fittings, the tank connectors especially, are just from B&Q. Um, £1.94, something like that. So I knew they weren't going to be the best. Um, but rather, I mean, for us guys in UK, it's an absolute nightmare trying to get fish safe aquarium parts without buying them off the internet and waiting six or seven days for their arrival. Um, so I'm just sort of playing around with this. Now, uh, I've just done a little bit of a water test. I will show you a video of that soon. Um, and I did get leaks coming out the top of here. So these, I mean, you can see there's nothing to these at all. They seals are the best. So what I am going to do um, is silicone them in. Um, I'll put them in to start with. Right flush up. Silicone. Silicone that in like that first. And then I'll also put the seal on there. Silicone that in. Once that's set, um, I'll, I'll fix it up and everything then. Um, but this, I mean, this reactor for me is going to be it within the sump. It's not going to be hanging on or anything like that. So any slight leaks, as long as it's not taking the media back into my sump, um, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about it really. So I'm just going to pause it, guys, and then I'll build it up, and you can see what the final sort of product going to look like. Hey guys, this is it, just constructed. Um, I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest. I've obviously got my, uh, my sponge inserts to put in, um, but yeah, it's, it's obviously not a pro, but if it works, and uh, my nitrates and my phosphates stay down, then I'll be happy. I mean, cost-wise, like I say, these were a couple of quid. This is all old piping that I had left from plumbing my tank in. This lock container were £1.96 or something. So all of this has been done for next to note. I'll just pause it and then I'll put some water through it and you can see what I'm doing. Right, so I've just, just attached this pipe and I'm just putting a tiniest bit of water through. Like I say, I will get some leaks coming out of the top because I haven't siliconed it yet. Just give it a couple of seconds. This obviously is the uh, intake that's going to be coming from a little pump that I've got in the sump and then coming out of this which is my return back into the um, fuge section of my pump. So you can see it's just starting to get to the top. Like I said none of it's been sealed, I haven't put any tape on this or any silicone so there is going to be leakage but for the minute this is just a bit of a test. There we go. See the leaking look. 
So I think once I've got that silicone, I'll do another wet test. But the, the fundamentals are there, let's say that. Welcome back. This is the build as it's carrying on on the uh, phosphate reactor. Let's so get a bit of better lighting. Um, you see there with my container, with my downpipe, um, at the bottom here. So if I sort of flattened it out and I've drilled some holes around it, you can just see a couple there. Um, so I get a nice dispersion of water as it comes out. Made myself a little plate there, with plenty of holes in to disturb the media. Um, I use a cable tie just to hold that in place to be honest, just for ease. And then as you come up, you can see I've got another couple of cable ties with the tail still long, just to hold this filter floss in place. And then on top of the filter floss, if I can, I've got another disc with a few holes. Uh, I'll just pause the video guys, then I'll break it down and show you each bit. Okay, so this is the top. Get in focus for you. There we are. Just a bit of a screen with some holes on just to stop that media from going back through the return here. This is just a closer look at the stem and the holes that I did. Yeah, I'm just going to travel through the filter, the media will be on here. Yeah, what will travel up through it, back up through some filter that will be on top of here. Um, and then back up through the return, which is this one. And back into my fuge. Yeah, I'll put it together and I'll get it back in the tank and I'll. Uh, I'll let you have a look. Oh god, does not want to focus today this. There we go. Alright guys, there it is, up and running. Within the sump. There's, uh, there's not a leak on it. It's quiet as a mouse, that's with the return pump, return pump running there as well. Sump shows really mucky through this light. But there it is. It's working. That's a bit better. Quiet as a mouse. I'll let you know the uh, tests of the phosphate uh, when I do them. Thanks very much.